Hey, uh, so I just finished a, a morning meditation and uh, feel inspired to share the experience on Periscope. Um, so it's a little after 8 a.m. here, a uh, beautiful, cool summer morning, and uh, I'm just about to leave for one of my best friend Graham's bachelor parties in Michigan and then straight from there going to Burning Man. So. Uh, pretty exciting celebratory time but anyway during this meditation my intention was to be love and uh, open up to love in all capacities and uh, one of the notions of love that I've really been tapping into uh, largely inspired by a good friend of mine named John is that uh, to love it involves unconditional love and it involves loving all things and allowing each thing and everyone to act as a sovereign being and uh, that's free to make its own choices. So essentially allowing everything to be and whether that's another person or you know someone in a romantic relationship, a family member, a friend or you know a tree or even inanimate objects and um, so allowing all things to be is uh, the true expression of love. And so anyway, during this meditation, I was, that was my intention to focus upon it. And, uh, you know, as I was, uh, thoughts, so I was in a place of stillness, just feeling love, uh, concentrating a bit on my heart chakra, as well as my third eye and crown chakras. And, um, you know, almost inevitably thoughts come and creep in. So for example, I thought about um, needing to print off a map uh, because I'm crossing the border and I'd rather use a map as opposed to uh, using all my data on my phone when I'm across the border. So, uh, you know, that thought crept in and I considered writing it down because sometimes the thoughts you have during meditation uh, escape you afterwards. Uh, but that's all part of the process in terms of letting things go. So uh, then anyway, um, later on in the meditation, I started thinking about my friends Chrissy and Justin who I hung out with last night and who have a beautifully loving relationship and are uh, just very inspiring and wonderful to be around. And so I was thinking about them and how uplifting that uh, our, our hangout was last night. And so I was thinking about messaging them and sort of made a mental note that I want to message them. Um, and again, just thinking about love. And then I, uh, I just started feeling my heart chakra really open up and this green light start pouring from me and then my eyes I started noticing that with closed eyes in the uh, upper perceptual field there was sort of this like black uh, this dark shadow um, above me and then it was a, a bit more gray and a bit more light uh, down here so I was looking up at this uh, black shadow and I was trying to determine what so I, I kept looking at it and kept sort of playing with the idea and then the notion of the Akashic record started to filter into my consciousness which is something I've only been uh, exposed to very recently and uh, something I recognized intuitively um, a few uh, about a month ago and I won't get into full detail about how I recognized it initially but for those who don't know the Akashic records are this spiritual notion of essentially a library list uh, that exists um, non-locally beyond any individual's consciousness but as a house or a home for the collective consciousness but not just for humanity but for all universal consciousness so the wisdom that's understood by trees for example or by quantum particles or by chipmunks or ants or by um, entities of other dimensions that we don't necessarily have conscious awareness of and um, and then also of humans as well and so as I was looking at this um, at this shadow and perceiving it to be the Akashic records my eyes then started rolling in the back of my head and I my my head fell backwards and sort of the um, the eyelids opened a little bit but because my eyes were rolled into the back of my head I, I couldn't see uh, the physical world and then all of a sudden this just white light and yellow light just started pouring through me and I'm I, my my head's cocked back and my mouth opens up and I just feel as though I'm receiving this telepathic profound impartation of collective universal consciousness which ties in perfectly with the Akashic Records because that's what they represent and um, 
And at this time, I was just basking in this white light of cosmic wisdom and feeling it fill me and feeling this love and recognizing, you know, that the perhaps the reason that I had been able to tap into these Akashic Records was due to my intention to be and experience love in in all of its glory. And, um, and so then the alarm for my meditation had sounded, which is actually a... Uh, a Ghiberato set for those of you who are familiar with Ghiberato. Amazing, amazing music. And um, so I was, uh, yeah, I, I feel this music starting to come in, but my head just remains cocked back, jaw dropped, and just feeling this, just receiving. And um, a, a notion that I like to uh, stress is that this isn't, you know, information that's privy to only me or accessible to only me. It's accessible to absolutely everyone. We're all able to tap in frequency and oftentimes it's not necessarily even through um, that particular deliberate intention of tuning into that frequency but it's just becoming more open and more aware and more conscious and doing the things that matter most to you and inspire you and that inspire others and helping other people around you and then through that naturally at least in my experience and others who I've spoken with these sort of um, universal wisdom start to pour through you so one thing that I hope to inspire is the empowerment of the individual and recognizing that there is um, n no one holds um, a higher intellect or you know a, a key to get to these realms that you can't access on your own where each and every one of us is infinitely capable because even um, increasingly we're becoming scientifically aware of the non locality of consciousness that it doesn't just har it's not just harbored inside of your physical being but rather it exists um, quantumly and uh, very expansively sort of across the entire universe and um, yeah so it was a really powerful meditation and um, I want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of it because we are this collectivity this universal oneness and uh, I love all you guys so have a wonderful day and uh, peace